Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is whiteboy 7 Street here bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops Team Deathmatch Ground War on the map. Man, my mind just went blank. What map is it? Don't tell me. Do not comment below. I know what map it is. Give me a second. Grid. There we go. How could I forget this map? This is one of my top three Black Ops favorite maps. Let me know in the comment below. What's your favorite Black Ops map or what's your top three? Mine... Grid, jungle, and perhaps, I like launch. Launch is a pretty solid map for me. Anyways, I just came up with a gold medal championship gaming athletic idea. But before that, right here, I got this gameplay about 10 minutes ago and I said to myself, if I would have just waited a split second, I could have got that collateral. And if you're not familiar with the term collateral, if you're new to the series, there's always new people, I get comments why do you got 500 likes and that could have been a collateral right there too that would have been pretty sweet collateral to collateral haven't got one of those yet in black ops I don't even think I got a collateral yet I don't snipe too often but it, it feels like they unnerfed the snipers just a little bit so expect more sniping gameplay in the near future but uh, like I was saying a collateral is when you get two kills with one bullet it could be anywhere from a sniper rifle or a one chamber bullet but usually it's for sniper rifles and right here I see that there's a lot of people down there and I remember this I'm like uh, I don't like this this situation I got me my pistol and my sniper rifle no C4s if I had a C4 maybe I would have played it a little bit different but I just said oh, I might as well get two people for one death hey that's a two to one KDR and and help my team a little bit. I could have probably played like a little biatch and run away, but if you can get two people, I'll take it. So, anyways, uh, my gold medal championship game and athletic idea. Ah, uh, that was stupid. I should have took a little bit of cover behind that cement barrier. Oh, uh, before that, that co that first collateral I missed. I I think I'm going to remember that like just subliminately for like the first or the next few few weeks, because I'm going to learn from that and I'm going to say to myself. Next time I'm in that situation, I'm just gonna wait a second and uh, may wait for him to line up. So it, that always seems to happen. Like I remember the most random things from matches when I'm making a commentary from like a few weeks ago. I mean, this is fresh in my mind, but other gameplays, like I remember, like oh, I took cover right there. That was a good move, or I, I ran out stupidly right there that was a bad move and then that's how you learn you learn from your mistakes and you learn from when you do good anyways my my idea that I have for future call of duties and let me know in the comment below if you would support this or if you're against it what if there was some kind of supercomputer that could randomly generate maps so it's a new and different experience each and every time it's like you play Call of Duty for that first week or so and you don't know what's going on you don't know where the good spots are there's no crash three-story building where that's like the good spot to be in there's no skid row it's just a random map with I don't know how they would title it maybe Russian 3 and it's like a Russian environment or a desert environment or something along those lines where it's not too much map knowledge it's just gun skill and it's just completely random maybe some maps are super overpowered but they only come up once or maybe I don't know if it could be a that would be probably in like 2050 where they can do that where it's a new map every time but you know it's a you don't play a map more than three times in a week and it just just complete randomness and complete chaos I'm sure there's some kind of formula that they could come up with where it's not like super overpowered and even if it was a unbalanced map it wouldn't matter too much if it just came up twice in a week because you're not gonna know right away maybe some of the good players might but you're not gonna know right away way where to go and where's the good camping spot and where's the good uh, spot to get your kill streaks up or, or whatever I don't know I, I just thought of that randomly as I was eating some Oreos it just popped in my head and I wanted to share it with you guys would you support it let me know in the comment below would you enjoy that kind of call of duty personally I can go either way <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> but I do have a level of pride in knowing 
where the spawns are and learning the map and where the good cover is and all that good stuff but then again I'm really confident in my gun skills so it wouldn't matter too much for me I think I do have a big advantage the first few days of Call of Duty and when a map pack comes out because I can learn the maps pretty quickly and in the game too it's not like I play the game several times and the, the same map several times and I learned the map I can pick up on little things uh, while in the game so I don't know I think that could be the future of Call of Duty and personally when you play Ground War almost exclusively it's the same map over and over and over you only get about six seven maps in the Ground War playlist and I would support random maps or just like Nuketown 9v9, or not Nuketown 9v9, but some of the smaller maps 9v9, I know it could be a little hectic, but at least try it out, or try Headquarters 9v9 or something. You know, I want to switch it up a little bit, and it's just the same old, same old thing, Domination. I've been playing Domination Ground War for like eight years straight. It, You know, I, don't get me wrong, I, I still enjoy it, but I would like something to progress, and maybe that's the next Call of Duty. I would fully support a 9v9 headquarters at least. I don't think that would be too hectic. Or demolition 9v9. Anything else 9v9 than just domination. I would support war. I wish they would have brought war back. That kind of sucks that they didn't. Uh, what else? I don't know. I'm just trying to brainstorm ideas. This could be my resume for... Uh, who, who's making the next call? Do the sledgehammer? Hire me, Sledgehammer. I got some gold medal championship ideas right here. I'll, I'll be open for you to hire me. And I was thinking of, the, of this. If some YouTubers, if we had all the commentators together to make a Call of Duty, I think it would be a great, great Call of Duty. Maybe not so much for the nubs, but for the good players, it would be a great, great Call of Duty. We would make some things happen. It would be a fantastic experience. Just think of it. We would... I don't know, it's just mind-blowing. So, Sledgehammer, I'm pretty sure I'm speaking for all the commentators. You can pick us all up. You can hire us all, and we'll make a great, great Call of Duty. Or maybe Modern Warfare 4, let's... I think we can make Modern Warfare 2, 4 a great, fantastic game. Would you guys buy a, a game that all the commentators make? I think it would be a, a, a really good game. It, it might be a little lopsided, but... Mm, I don't know. Uh, so that's all I got to say about that. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please leave a thumbs up. I love it when you like it, and it only takes a few seconds out your day, and that helps me a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already for the latest and greatest Call of Duty videos added daily in high definition. Okay, that's all I got to say about that.